Good morning, guys. <clears throat> All right, so I'm up here at the property at the cabin, and I'm cabin's not done, obviously, so I don't have an indoor cooking area or a full kitchen, so I'm still using this fire pit. Um, but what I'm doing this morning is I'm making my typical breakfast. My wife and I, and sometimes my daughters, will eat six out of seven days at home, at least. Uh, what it is, it's a it's a very healthy breakfast. It's it's uh, very low calories, but extremely high in nutrition. So what it is, is a, just a mix of vegetables and, and I make that into a frittata. So it's basically an omelette that you just scramble up in the pan so you don't have to worry about trying to flip it and get it cooked on the inside, which I hate. Uh, so in this one in particular, I've got tomato, onion, garlic, um, red peppers, yellow peppers, banana, hot banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, spinach, zucchini, broccoli, uh, mushrooms and might be I don't know if I mentioned spinach so always lots of spinach in there and it could be any other greens like Swiss chard any real uh, other lettuces even so tons and tons of nutrition in there ever since I started making this like two two and a half years ago I haven't been sick once and I I attributed that to this you know trying to get all your vegetables in a day is sometimes hard but when you start off like that with with a couple servings of vegetables it really helps out at home what I do is I throw that in the pan uh, sometimes or quite often with a protein another protein like a meat because that's what I like uh, or I'll add cheese so I'll add feta cheese I'll do like a Mediterranean one for example so I'll add chicken breast or uh, diced up chicken from the leftovers from the night before in this one I've got turmeric I often add that sometimes I add a lot of it along with cumin and I make a curry frittata um, I like fish frittata, so either lobster or salmon is really good in it, tuna, a fish that I've caught, fresh caught, so lots and lots of uh, options that you can make this. So very, very simple. So just dice up the vegetables, throw it in the pan. I'll cook those first for 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Sometimes I'll put it on and I'll go do something else. Then I'll come back and just add the egg whites and mix it up. Out here in the field, I'd like to add more calories because that's only like 140 to 180 calories per serving. That's why I say it's our weight loss or weight management meal because starting off your day with that few calories but that much fiber, you feel full, you're satisfied and you don't need to eat again till at least um, mid-morning or lunchtime. But uh, you're hardly getting, but you're burning uh, fat uh, uh, because you're mostly a uh, protein and, and, and uh, protein, vitamins, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. So that goes into the pan. In this case, I'm gonna throw some bacon from the beans in there as well. And that's another thing I like to add to the frittata is beans, chickpeas, or, or leftover uh, baked beans. So go ahead and dump that in there. So I'll be adding bacon, like I said, to this pan with the beans. And then I'll be using whole eggs instead of uh, egg whites because, again, I need the extra calories out here. And I prefer to have them anyway, especially if, when we have our own hands that lay the eggs. I hate separating out the whites and not using the, uh, the yolks. So I actually put a lot of it in the beans last night, so there's not much left in the pan here, but that's enough for me anyway. grease from the bacon I put in the beans. I can just throw some of that in there. It'll help stop that from sticking. This pan's a little bit better seasoned than the other one. Sometimes I'll mix up enough for three or four days in one batch so that I'm not spending all that time cutting each morning. So if I dice up you know, a whole ton of vegetables and put it in a great big bowl, then I'll just store that in the fridge and take out what I need each day. So I actually left some home with my wife this time so she can cook that while I'm away too. Like I said, I've got some bacon in this one and uh, some feta cheese for extra calories and then whole eggs for the extra calories as well. So tons and tons of flavor in here. I try to get as many herbs and spices in to my diet as possible. All combined, they're, they're very helpful and they're very beneficial to your health, especially when they're all combined together. 
Uh, pepper and garlic is a good example, turmeric and garlic. So I dump it on there and uh, rather add flavor that way than add more salt. All right, the beans are heated up now too. So I'm gonna have the beans with it as well. But I can go ahead and crack the egg into that. This, this pan is a lot better seasoned, but it's gonna start sticking. Yeah, it's starting to now. It's just a little too much heat. Probably have used three eggs in this. I use about a half cup per person of egg whites at home. The beauty of this, instead of an omelet, you don't have to keep it all together. Because I just, I'm not good at that. Let's see, let's have either coffee or tea. Maybe I'll make a big pot of coffee. Combine a couple of these and just sip, them up, sip on that all day. No, Kelly. Beans in there too. All right, beans, bacon, and frittata. That's really good. If you haven't tried frittata or messy omelet with all the vegetables you can think of thrown in the pot then you're missing out but what I like about it is how healthy it is regardless of the taste even though it tastes fantastic I would eat it anyway just for the health benefits so thanks for watching guys enjoy